What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay Cruz, and you're watching Three Full Fitness. And welcome to my office. I'm sure you guys have seen it in some of the other videos, but this is my office. This is a newly painted. Um, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's my logo, and it's newly painted. It's above my desk. But I've had a few people ask me over the course of the time that I've had this gym. He's like, "Why did you build the gym?" And I've had to like navigate that question differently every single time because it changes even while I've been here. In the same way that I think most people, they originally like lift or work out for a specific reason. Like there's different phases in life. When uh, somebody goes through a breakup, they work out uh, to make a revenge body and trying to look a certain way and um, get back at the person they broke up with. Or um, you work out because you realize, hey, I might not live very long. So my motivation is I need to lift this way in order to get into better shape and live longer. Maybe it's to spend um, more time with your kids and you want to make sure that you are alive longer for them and there's a lot of things maybe you want to go on a trip and you want to go on um, some sort of hike you want to backpack on, in East Europe or something like that well the only way to do that is to get in shape so like different people have different reasons why they want to get in shape and I know when I originally was lifting back when I was 18 19 years old my motivation and what I would think of, and I know a lot of you guys can identify with this, is you would lift because you thought of all the girls that rejected you or from breakups or whatever it is, and that was your motivation. And then eventually I had, I, I got married and now my motivation was a little bit different. My motivation was to look good for my wife, to be a protector, and to, um, you know, just take care of my body and live with her longer. And then I started having kids and my mindset changed again. And I started lifting because uh, I, need to, I need to be a whole another level of a protector for them. And I uh, just setting an example of them for healthy living and, and to ensure that they would in turn live a healthy lifestyle. Well, when I built the gym, um, I've had multiple iterations of a gym. I think my first, very first gym was well, at, my, at my home where my parents lived and my dad had this like multi-system machine that I used and it was good, but um, it wasn't mine. So my first gym, my motivation was to get my own stuff. And so that was my original motivation to build a gym. So I got, I think a little, um, it was like a bench and that's pretty much all I had. So I, I benched, I did shoulder work and if I did squats, it was like whatever I could, um, power clean up to my shoulders and then you know throw over my shoulders and do um, that was that was my my leg workout or i do like lunges or something like that so now my next motivation to build a little bit better gym was to have the equipment to do um squats so i wanted a, a power rack the first two setups i had was just a bench so all of my leg workouts and all that stuff would be a lot of lunges um, deadlifts and stuff but i never really got into doing heavy squats because i didn't have a squat rack so the first opportunity I got, I got a squat rack and that wasn't until like, that was like the third version of a gym that I had, that I got a squat rack. I moved to various houses. I didn't have garages where I lived sometimes. And so I put my gym in a tent and you know, my motivation for a long time was like, I want a gym space where I can um, lift freely and not have to worry about uh, other people messing with my stuff. Um, I went to the gym when I was younger and it was, to be honest with you, it was a meat market and people were just there to try and like talk to each other. And I wasn't, I wasn't, in, I wasn't there for that. I was just trying to lift and get out of there. So that started my journey on like, Hey, let me get my own space covered, hopefully inside of a garage and, um, have all the equipment that I needed. And so for a long time, again, I went from a squat rack, no, not even a squat rack. I went from a bench to eventually getting a bench slash squat rack, but it wasn't a cage yet, it was just a rack, and I couldn't squat probably more than 225 on that thing without it like feeling a little rickety. I ended up moving to Georgia, and that's where I got like my first, like I had a Smith machine and a squat rack. So I had kind of like two things to do workouts on, and it was also my first place that I had some sort of overhead pulley machine, but I still didn't have like a functional trainer, I still didn't have more than just a squat rack um, and I wanted to like go a little bit further so when I finally moved to uh, a few other places and I finally rested in the place where I could build out a garage gym um, I got my very first rack it was a, I think it was an ethos rack 
and it wasn't that great it wasn't that sturdy you probably could squat 315 on it very comfortably now i think i have video of myself squatting i think like 420 maybe 460 on it so it was a decent rack you just couldn't put any kind of attachments on it and it wasn't the cool thing at the time i was into to crossfit at that time and so all of the rogue stuff was like as you can see here all of the rogue stuff was like the the hot items of that day at least for the circles that i ran in eventually i think it was a tax return i don't know why but it was a tax return that i spent to get my first uh monster light rack and i think it was 15 maybe 1700 dollars but it was an investment well worth it because as the company grew they made more attachments and that rack i mean i've i've never felt unsafe in it at all i still actually have it down in the gym right now but i've never felt unsafe with that rack and it's done a ton of work for me and so back to the whole motivation and that's like my iteration and my evolution of um, working out my motivation for working out my motivation for making a gym well at some point I started helping out with the young adults at my church in California almost to the point where I, I mean I basically was the young adults pastor um, I planned everything for them um, I taught uh, I made I organized whatever else they did and um, I did that for a couple years and um, I would invite them over to work out and at some point, you know, a lot of them were coming over and I would have eight, nine people there at, at one time sometimes and it was just too many people for that amount of space. So I said, man, when I get to, uh, th this gym, guys, just want to tell you there was there was no plan for this. There was no possibility that this would happen, but it did happen. And I said before this happened, <laughs> if I ever get the chance to build something myself, I'm gonna build something that I can share with my, um, share with you know this group of people, young adults, but also my neighbors and my family and my friends and extend it to, to help other people. One, get into fitness and, and have the same motivation I have for fitness, to be you know a protector, to take care of your body, to live long uh, and to uh, just take care of what God's given you, your body and you know the stuff around you. You know that it goes through because it was just through it, you know? It's not gonna close in half a second. Oh my gosh. Yo, guys, so I do this thing where I impulsively just grab my earlobe and just snap it. And today I forgot I had earrings in and I just went and boom, now it's gone. And Laura's being the MVP and getting me getting me right right now. There's a lot of blood. Oh my God. I honestly can't feel anything. Good, I'm literally stabbing you. Ooh. Oh, can you feel that? I thought that good meant that she got it through, but no, and that's all right. We're fine, we're chilling. Okay, well, if it's bleeding, that means I'm going through, right? Hey guys, that's subscribe <laughs> to Jay's channel. The best thing you'll ever do. Oh my gosh, this is why you wash your hands. You'll get all the content. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, is that what? Is that why uh, when Riley got no no well, she she did it. <laughs> but also like a, a practical situational, like, hey, if I want to go on a hike, if I want to jump over a fence for safety, if I want to lift something off somebody because it fell on them, I'm strong enough practically to help them. That's the reason why I built this gym was to make sure that, hey, I have a place where I can lift without worrying about people that I don't want to lift around, but then also I get to invite people uh, to lift here and help them grow physically, spiritually, mentally. I mean, that's that's what we do. We, there's always conversations about God while we're working out. There's always good workout sessions and there's always um, time to like just encourage whoever comes to the door and, and help them get stronger. I've been involved with a few garage gym communities online and a lot of them are like, I just want to lift by myself. I don't want to um, to deal with anybody else and and to have to um, wait for equipment and all that stuff. I understand all of that stuff, but let me just challenge or encourage you to say that, man, I haven't found any greater joy or more fun than to make sure that I'm working out with other people, but also just sharing my stuff. 
yeah, there are times where there's somebody in there that doesn't take care of your things, but I find more joy in the times that um, I just have fun with other people and I get to uh, encourage them, lift them up, and um, just give them an opportunity to work out in a place that maybe they wouldn't be able to work out anywhere else. So uh, maybe you have a home gym and you're one of those people that's like, I'm just gonna lift for myself here because it's convenient and I don't have to drive anywhere and you know all the other reasons why most people have garage gyms. And that's cool, that's awesome. But just consider you know, reaching out to a neighbor and being a friend to them and saying, hey, like, hey, I work out at this time. Do you want to come over and work out? Or maybe a friend at work or at church and just say like, hey, do you want to come work out with me? Because I found that is some of the best lifting sessions that I've ever had. Yeah, just give me like a, a quick synopsis, synopsis of what happened so I can do this, play it over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just explain what happened. Okay, are we for- I'm recording now. Okay, um, so I do this thing where I grab my ear, just like impulsively the lobe, and like I just kind of like flick it, and I got my ears pierced yesterday, and today in the gym, I forgot that I had earrings in, and so I just went, boom, and this thing went flying. I mean, on the floor, next thing I know, there's blood all over my ear. I run to the bathroom, try to put the earring in, but it's it's not, it's not going in. I can get it through the front, I can't get it through the back. And so I come out here humbly like, Laura, can you please help me? And she's like, I got you. And so she's trying, dude, there's blood everywhere. She's like poking around on the inside of my earlobe for like 10 minutes, no, it was like five. And I, 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 I it, she just couldn't get it. And then finally she like, there was something there, like it hadn't closed, but she had to like push through some skin and finally it was able to come out on the other side. So we're back. I like laid on the ground for like, <laughs> but once I heard the pop, cause you know, like whenever you hear an internal pop, like you hear it louder in inside. So after I heard the pop, I like kind of had to lay down on the ground, was a little woozy. I hadn't had breakfast. And then Jay uh, got me the propel. He got me some fruit bar and then like, like a little almond snack, dude. So good, and then we finished the workout. Okay, about the workout. How's, yeah, how was the workout? The workout. I'm a man now. <laughs> I'm a man now. <laughs> it was great. So good. Tell us about yourself, real quick. Just real quick. What do you What do you usually do for workout? Uh, so I do a lot of CrossFit. I've been doing it for about three years now. Uh, retired athlete, CrossFit, and now coming to get a bro pump, some shoulders today. Got the all around the shoulder, the back. Really, everything's hurting right now. Even my chest. We didn't even do chest today. So, uh, it was nice to get out here, learn from Jay, work out with Freddie for the first time. Uh, yeah, it was, it was good. Retiring athlete from what? Played a little, little college football back in the day. Um, it's been a long time now. So, just trying to stay active. I really enjoy the competitiveness of CrossFit. But every now and then, you got to take a step back and just come, come and get a good little pump in. Yep, yep. All right, hey, you're welcome anytime. Thank you, appreciate it. So we just finished our workout. 
um, Freddie and Robbie came over and now we have a bunch of high school students here or not high school students, they're junior high students. This is the current situation. So that's what they're doing, playing volleyball. Um, it's Kinsley's volleyball team. They are uh, mostly the A team, which is like 12 girls, and then the B team, just 13 girls. I think she invited all of them because we didn't want to leave anybody out. You never want to disclude anybody. And this is the mess that they've made from being here for five minutes. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> We're now playing six on six. First team to seven, the stinking team on the other side. It's been on four times in a row. They're not even that good. We're better than them. <laughs> it's just uh, our stage. I got it. I recorded it. I got it. Here, 